this must never happen again in Birmingham or anywhere in the state of Alabama, but they are here. We must never forget that. And so don't allow our struggle here in Birmingham to degenerate into a racial struggle. And yet, despite the brutal murders and savage police beatings, Dr. King remains steadfast in his endorsement of a nonviolent response. We can be sure that the vast majority of Negroes who engage in the demonstrations and who uh, understand the nonviolent uh, philosophy will be able to face dogs and all of the other brutal uh, methods that are used without retaliating with violence because they understand that one of the first uh, principles of nonviolence is a willingness to be the recipient of violence while never uh, inflicting violence upon another. But not everyone in the civil rights movement agreed with Dr. King's pacifist approach. The white man pays Reverend Martin Luther King, subsidizes Reverend Martin Luther King, so that Reverend Martin Luther King can continue to teach the Negroes to be defenseless. That's what you mean by nonviolent. Be defenseless. Be defenseless in the face of one of the most cruel uh, beasts that has ever taken the people into captivity. That's this American white man. And they have proved it throughout the country by the police dogs and the police club. In December of 1964, Dr. King's advocacy of nonviolence earned him the Nobel Prize for Peace. Presentation of this award also brings with it a demand for deepening one's commitment to nonviolence as a philosophy of life. But receiving an award for advocating peace and actually achieving peace were not necessarily the same thing. There were still many miles to travel on the road to equal rights. We marched in Chicago in 1966 for open housing. We could only live in certain blocks, and there were many homes in Chicago where blacks had to live in the back, in the maids' quarters. They were called restrictive covenant agreements on houses. And just after that, the king was killed, outlawing housing discrimination as a matter of law take place. It still exists, but no longer as a matter of law. It proclaims that fair housing for all, all human beings who live in this country is now a part of the American way of life. <laughs> 